Hi guys, this is uh, Aman from uh, How to 101, and uh, today we have an early look at Cyanogen Mod 9.0 Alpha Zero for uh, HP Touchpad. I guess they released this build last night, and uh, I just installed it like a couple of hours ago. Been playing around with it, and uh, I have to say, so far, I love it. Uh, to go into details, first of all, this is the app drawer. These are all the apps basically. I installed some of them like the Amazon App Store and uh, I installed Tweetcaster Pro, I installed Google Maps. Rest basically comes with it and these are widgets. You can see the beautiful 3D animations of Android 4.0. It's It basically looks amazing. These are all the main <coughs> settings widgets, sorry. that comes with it with it and uh, let me load the brightness Here you can see this is the settings panel and you can get to it by clicking on the right corner it will display it will display the uh, notifications you have and the main settings. If you click on this, it will give you the main, you know, airplane mode, Wi-Fi, brightness, auto-rotate, notifications, and then you can hit on settings and you will go to the main settings app. And uh, these are the notifications if you click on it. And you can just swipe if you don't want to attend that notifications at this moment. Just swipe and it's gone. Okay, let's head over to some of the widgets, which is the main feature in here, ice cream sandwich. This is the main Gmail widget. Pretty handy. Or right on your screen, you can just get to the app. And the Gmail app is uh, great. It's a dual panel app. Here you got your inbox, and then you can just scroll with your messages, your priority inbox, all the main normal Gmail stuff. And it's it's basically using all the tablet space, which is which is great. We got Gmail covered. Here's the bookmarks widget. The amazing thing about bookmark in Ice Cream Sandwich is it now syncs bookmark from your Google account. So if you're using Chrome and you're logged into Chrome with your Gmail account or Google account and you have bookmarks on Chrome, it will sync all of them for you. Like I have these folders on Chrome and if I click on it, here the items inside that folder it's it's pretty slick and amazing and here's this uh, YouTube widget which uh, you know syncs with your feeds subscriptions and all that and another feature in ice cream sandwich is you can resize all the widgets just hold on to the widget wait for the sidelines to pop up and then you can just resize them and it normally goes for almost all the widgets in ice cream sandwich that's done that's the new calendar widget I basically have nothing for today and uh, that covered that covered okay and just in case if you guys are wondering this is a uh, HD widgets I believe it's dollar ninety nine in the App Store I totally recommend this app to everyone have a tablet or even if you just have a phone it's just amazing widgets it just looks beautiful on this screen i'm not sure how justice the camera how much justice the camera is doing to this app but it looks amazing if you click on this it will give you the extended forecast if you click on the cam uh sorry the clock you can just set the alarm right from the screen without even going to the app and it's it's pretty slick and they give you a lot of options I mean these are all the widgets all 8 plus 3 11 and you got different sizes and all that you can set up the settings and basically not as a normal weather app but it's it's pretty slick and uh, market is the uh, same that we had and uh, basically the same market that 
we had before on touchpad. I didn't see any changes in market. Okay, that's market. And uh, here are the three navigation buttons. Home button, back button, and here's what everyone was waiting for. The multitasking button. And it pops up the separate panel on the left side of the screen. These are all the apps that are open slash running at this moment. And you can just swipe through. It's as easy as it is. Just keep swiping, just keep swiping, and that's all it is. And uh, for Twitter, I'm using Tweetcaster Pro. I'm sure there are a lot of alternatives, but that's the one that I like. It has a, again, as Gmail, it's, it's a dual panel mode. It has all your folders on the left-hand side, all your timeline, mentions, messages, and then all the tweets in that folder on the right hand side it's pretty handy okay that's done let's go to the apps. okay settings app is you can click on each particular setting and it will take you there and this is the interface that Synogen Mod team added and uh, it has options for home screen basically normal launches stuff I would say options for drawer dock and icons doesn't work yet and there's one option in general which is auto rotate the home screen or not that's about it for this app and then all the rest of the normal settings for Android that we are familiar with. Settings is covered. Oops, it's loading. As I said, it's pretty early built. They even named it Alpha Zero. Okay, let's talk about limitations. Uh, high quality video. Video doesn't work yet. That means Netflix doesn't work at all. And uh, YouTube works only for non-HD videos. I mean, you can watch all the videos. You just have to disable the HD option, high quality option. And uh, sound doesn't work. I mean, I tried playing, you know, my Google Music songs. They, they're just sounds ugly. And uh, I'm, I'm sure they are working on it and it will sort out in no time. And here's the persistent Google search bar on the top of the screen you can as I said sound doesn't work so if you click on the mic it says audio problem and you have to cancel it and if you click on the search button it will just take you to normal search and then you can just type whatever you want let's uh, look at the browser browser is the browser and and we get tabs is one tab it's basically they're mirroring Chrome same thing you can just click on tabs and switch through them it's as easy as it is and on the right corner we have again search button you can make a favorite or a bookmark and these are all the bookmarks as I showed these are synced from my Google account and these are the local bookmarks that are by default on the browser and uh, it's overall the speed I did meant I did notice a little that this browser is a little bit faster than what we were running before on touchpad so overall an improvement in browser too and uh, that's about it and uh, so far I'm loving this build as I said it's an early alpha build so please proceed on your own risk but if you're like an Android fan and can wait like me so I, I would re totally recommend installing this and uh, you know just try it out for yourself and see how you like it that's all I have for now guys see you later